here we are at Kelly Farms and we're talking about romantic gardens. Here's a romantic hors d'oeuvre, a romantic recipe to celebrate the fact that figs can grow in western Washington. And so I am with sous chef Ray Bonner. He is from Mama's Tortinis. And you do a lot of weddings out here. You do yeah. a lot of romantic recipes. Yeah. This is gorgeous. Tell us what you have here. Thank you. Well, this is a, a prosciutto wrapped roasted fig stuffed with a honey goat cheese. Ooh, it yeah. sounds delicious. And it's finished with a little balsamic glaze and wow. a nice uh, spring mix salad just tossed with a little lemon vinaigrette and uh, shaved Parmesan cheese. Oh, you know what I love about this is you said it's something even somebody like I can do because mm -hmm. I'm not a cook. So tell me the ingredients and how you put this together here. So basically, take your fig, cut it in half, take a little bit of your honey goat cheese. All it is is take some honey and some goat cheese together, whip it. That's it. Very simple. Okay, so that's what this is. Yep. That's you. Took, you put honey into the goat cheese. Yep. And you just whipped, whipped it. it up. Okay, and that's a little dab of that yep, on there. Yep. Just a little dab of that. So basically, take it. Okay. Squish it down like a sandwich. Okay, I can handle that. And what you'll do is you'll take your prosciutto. I only got a little piece here. Yeah. But you would set it down mm -hmm. and you would wrap it nice and tight. Oh, beautiful. And then you'd set it on a baking sheet, a cookie sheet of some okay. sort, put it in the oven and roast it. Okay, but now here's what makes you the chef. The beautiful presentation. How in the world do you get that nice decorative um, those stripes when you serve that. Well, it's really easy. A lot of people, when they go out to a restaurant, they see that, they think, oh my gosh, he's he's such an artist. He's so you fancy, are, yes. you know? And we are kind of artists, but it's, it's really easy. We, we put stuff in squeeze balls all the time from our balsamic glaze to okay. our purees for our desserts and our chocolates for our desserts. And basically you just take it and you can squeeze it and you can get a lot further How does lines. this work? Show me how you squeeze it out onto something. Because I, I need to learn this technique and fool everybody that makes so, them think that. Th this one has a, a bigger tip, which okay. it'll come out a little thicker, but you can get finer ones too. It makes okay. it a little easier. Okay. But basically, you just take it. Yeah. And you're making a design. Uh -huh. Wait a minute. You're writing something. I get it. Dig in. Dig in. <laughs> wow. So thank you so much, Roy. And Thank you, Mama Startinis, for sharing you because yeah. we know you guys do catering all over. Yes, we do. You travel Puyallup and Kent and all over the place to do weddings and events. And so I appreciate you taking time out this summer to share these tips with us. Yes, of course. Thank you.